All right, let's take a look at the limit orders on Jupiter today. So a limit order is the ability to buy or sell a token at a predetermined price. So whatever price you want to sell at, this gives you the ability to buy or sell that token. So I have my screen pulled up here. I did a fresh refresh on it. What it tells me right now is Gary Coin, which is our token, is 0.1059. So I could right now, if I wanted to, sell one Gary coin and get 0 0.1059, and that's great. But maybe I don't want to do that. What if I happen to buy Gary coin, and I happen to say, look, if the price is ever one U.S. dollar, then I want to sell some. So let me show you how you would do that. So if you own one Gary coin in this wallet, I have 250. You can say I want to sell Gary coin at one dollar, which says it's way above the market price. When do you want it to expire? You can say, I want it to expire in um, 10 minutes, one hour, one day, three days, seven days, really any time in the world. So I could say, I want it to expire never, and I want to sell 100 Gary coin, and I want to get 100 USDC. Now, it doesn't mean that this will actually work. It does not mean that at any point in time the Gary coin will be worth a dollar. It doesn't mean that you will ever get to fulfill this order. But it does mean that if something happens at any point in time in the future until it expires, which I said never, that Gary coin, that there's enough liquidity, that there's enough opportunity to sell 100, 100 Gary coin for $1 a piece and get $100, it will do that for me. And when I hit the place limit order, Pops up my wallet. I go ahead and I confirm that. And it is done. Now, when I go down here, it says one Gary for 100 US dollars. Now, it's sitting here. It's waiting on me. It tells me it's open, right? It's never been filled. It's going to expire never. If I want to close it, I can, right? So right now, I have only 150 Gary coin. It took 100 of my Gary coin away, and it's holding them here waiting to sell them. And when I want to close the order... As long as I leave it open, it's going to sit there and actually work. But when I want to close the order, I hit the close button, and I confirm. And what it does is it closes the order. So now, in just a second, I will have my 250 carry coin sitting here. See, back to 250 now. And I don't have an open order anymore. That'll go away in just a moment. Refresh data. There we go. It's all going away. Now, we can also go the other side of this. Let's say you want to buy Gary coin. And let's say that you look at this price and it's 0 0.1059 and you're like, no way, not paying that much. Don't want to buy Gary coin for 0 0.1059. That's your choice. So what we would do here is we'd hit these little magic arrows in the middle right there. And we would say we want to take one Gary or sorry, one U.S. dollar. Let's just say 50 U.S. dollars. And we want to buy... What if we wanted to buy Gary coin at 0.05 cents a piece? So we want to take $50 and we want to buy 1,000 Gary coin. Now what this would do is if at any point in time in the future, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen today. It doesn't mean it'll actually ever happen. But if at any point in time in the future, Gary coin gets to 5 cents, and it's able to get, before it expires, I can still do all my expirations, can even choose custom and custom hours and days or minutes or whatever, anything I want. But if at any point in time, it's able to go buy me 1,000 Gary coin for $50, it will do that. Now, it can also fulfill smaller amounts of that. So maybe it's able to buy me 100 Gary coin for $5, but not the other 900 for 45 more. And it will do that. It'll just buy me the 100 for $5. So if I process this order, it will do exactly the same. So what this tells me that I can do is I can do a limit order, meaning I can set the price. It says set your price. I'm using Jupiter. I'm using the Jupiter swap um, on Solana. I can do a limit order. I can set my price. The reason why I do this with USDC is for most people, it gives them a solid price point that they know and they are using because they're used to using US dollars. Now, if you're used to using another currency, there's no problems. You can use any currency here. There's a ton of them. You just choose whichever one you want, and it'll work itself out. So 
That's how you do a limit order. You never have to buy on the market. What that means is buy at market rate, and you never have to sell on the market, meaning sell at whatever it is at that time. You always have the opportunity to do it if you go just to the swap here. But on the limit order, you get to pick your price, and if we ever reach that price, you'll get your uh, order fulfilled, and you'll get the tokens that you desire.